In this video, we're gonna take a brief introductory look at the process of managing posts and pages in WordPress. Now remember, this is just the basics. We're just trying to get familiar with the menus and the interface so you know where everything is for later on when we build on this. So we'll start off with posts. And naturally, we're gonna go over to the main menu to the posts section and we can click on all posts. So this is where you're gonna see all of your existing blog posts. And you can see we only have one at this point, but you can imagine you could have dozens, you could have hundreds, and it just shows up in a table like this, where you can see the title, the author, the categories, the tags, the number of comments, and the date. Above this table, you'll notice we have a bulk actions menu where we can select one or more posts from the table to then edit them or move them to the trash. And then you can also filter the posts that show up because again, you could have hundreds of posts here. Uh, it's not always as simple as just having one post in this table. So you can select the dates or the categories and then filter the posts based on that information. Also at the top, you have uh, menus for different post statuses. So we only have one post and it's published, so we've only got published, but in theory you could have posts that are drafts that have not been published yet or posts that are pending review. For example, if you have another author who has submitted a post to you for your review, uh, that would be another post status that would show up here. Um, of course, you have your add new button. You can add a new post from there. You can also add a new post directly from the main menu or as we discussed, the admin bar. Now, in terms of managing content, there are a couple of ways that you can do that. You can click on the title to open the post editor. I'm just gonna do that in a new tab here. And you'll see, the first time you open this, you'll probably see this little introduction. And then you'll see the post editor. So we've got our title here, and we've got our content here. Uh, very simple, very simple first post that sort of comes preloaded with WordPress. And then you'll notice this sidebar over here where you can manage a lot of metadata and manage individual uh, blocks of content within the post. We are gonna come back to this. We're gonna do a deep dive on this, this content editor. Um, so don't worry too much about it yet, but this is how you edit your content. Now going back to that table, you can also do a few different actions right here. Uh, you can edit, which will open the same content editor we just saw, or you can do a quick edit which is an interesting little way to manage your metadata on the fly, like your date, uh, the post status. Like I said, you could make it a draft or pending review. Uh, you can turn comments on or off. You can manage the categories and tags. Uh, all these little quick things that you may wanna do with a single post or under the bulk actions, you can do edit and then you can make any of these individual changes uh, to a large number of posts. Um, so that's sort of a quick way to make changes to a post without having to open the full editor and do it there. So we'll hit cancel. Uh, you can also trash the post to get rid of it. Uh, it'll move it to the trash and then it's sort of like the recycle bin on your computer. You can then empty the trash later uh, and it keeps those posts around for a period of time if you do want to restore them. And then there's also an option to view the post, which we'll go ahead and do that in a new tab as well. And this is my post live on my site. And you can see there's a comment here on this post as well. So we'll go back. And the reason I wanted to introduce this table is because this is a very familiar design language that's used a lot throughout WordPress. So you're gonna see this on the posts screen you're gonna see this on the pages screen, on the plugins screen, and a lot of different places. Um, you're gonna see these tables and a very similar interface, right? So when you get familiar with this, you're gonna be familiar with a lot of other things within WordPress. 
Uh, speaking of pages, let's hop over there and just take a look at that. Like I said, very similar. You can do the edit, the quick edit, trash, or preview, because this one happens to be a draft. Uh, so a preview is just showing what it's going to look like on the site when it is published, although this page is not yet published. Our sample page is published. We can view that one. Take a look at that. And yeah, so you've got your bulk actions, edit or move to trash, and then you can sort by date or filter by date. Same kind of idea with pages. And then when you open one of these in the editor, it's gonna look very similar to the post editor. Uh, so you've got your title here, you've got a heading, paragraph, multiple headings, multiple paragraphs, uh, pretty straightforward. And then again, you've got your sidebar over here where you can manage a lot of different metadata about the page. So you can see WordPress reuses the same sort of interface for multiple different types of content, which makes it very easy to translate your understanding from one thing to another. Uh, one more thing I wanna showcase here, which is the screen options menu. We saw this on the dashboard page, and you'll notice this is a feature on many different pages within WordPress. When you're managing your posts, especially if it's a large number of posts, this can really come in handy. You can decide which columns are going to show up, like your author, your categories, tags, comments, and date, uh, the number of items per page. You could have 20 items. You could have 500 items, right? Because you know, on a big site with a lot of content, this table is going to be a lot more extensive than it is right here. Then you've got different view modes. You've got compact view and extended view. So if we switch to extended, you'll see that we do have a little bit of content right here uh, that shows up from the actual post itself. And you can go back up to screen options to switch that back. So that is how you manage your content in WordPress, your two primary types of content, which are posts and pages. And don't worry, we are going to come back to this. Like I said, we'll do a full deep dive on the post editor. I just wanted to get you familiar with how and where to actually manage your content.